Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to review yet another Dinosaurus figure. We've had the Spinosaurus on recently, so now we're going to do the Deinonychus. This is a 1 10th scale Deinonychus released by Dinosaurus, and it is fantastic. An absolutely beautiful looking Deinonychus. Maybe I'm not positive exactly how scientifically accurate it is, as it's been out for quite a few years now. We discover new things about these dinosaurs every single day, but I think it looks fantastic. And I'll show you up close right now just how nice. Starting up here at the head, you can see the detail and the sculpt work in the head. It is really, really well done. It looks beautiful. The scales all over the place are really nicely sculpted. They seem like they're, the majority are really different sizes all over the place, so a lot of time went specifically just into sculpting the head. The eye looks very nice as well. A very nice yellow color with a black pupil, and it's got a beautiful gloss to it, so it helps to really bring it to life. You can see just the skin detail all over the place, up around the eye, and in the mouth is just top notch, it truly is. It looks very, very beautifully done, the lower jaw as well. You can see the teeth on the inside of the mouth are all sculpted individually. Now one thing to note on mine is that I bought mine off of a seller on eBay, which I probably shouldn't have because it did show up with some chips in the paint here on the front of the face, and he also has some missing teeth you can see on the inside of the mouth there. So that's very unfortunate for my model. I've considered reordering this, but I don't know if I really feel like doing it again because he's about $60 or so, somewhere in that range. And you know, dropping 60 bucks for something I already own just to cover up a few teeth isn't really the best option, but I may end up doing it at some point because it kind of drives me a little nuts. But either way, if you order yours straight from Dinostorius, it'll come in perfect condition because they ship them in these very nice large boxes that really protect them. They're covered with styrofoam and they look very, very safe when they arrive. So you should have no problem if you do order one from them. You can see looking at the front of the face here, the nostrils have been carved out very nicely and sculpted beautifully. The inside of the mouth looks fantastic. It really does nice detail all over the place sculpted in there. Everything about the inside of the mouth is beautiful, colored very nicely, sculpted with incredible amounts of detail. So that whole area looks fantastic. You can see the ear back here on the Deinonychus, also sculpted out very nicely. Something that I feel like a lot of dinosaur companies fail to uh, put in their models is ears. So you can see that that is present on this model. And again, the other side of the face, also beautiful. You can see a few more nicks of the paint off of mine, which is definitely unfortunate. Again, as I said before, but oh well, I guess. Not much I can do about it now. I could try to cover it up a little bit and fix it, but I don't want to potentially ruin the model and make it look worse than it already does. Because overall, this is an absolute beautiful model, and me tampering with it may not be the best decision. See that there is a little difference in tone of the color up here on the back of the head, as the feathers are starting to form all over the place here. Beautifully sculpted feathers, they look fantastic. You can see a little dark blackish color that runs along the side of the head here, just giving a little bit of a different tone. And then you can see a nice underside here of the neck area with the light tan color. Again, beautiful feathers sculpted all over the place. These Velociraptor arms are held in, they look very cool. A nice color here on the hands, a very realistic color. Claws are sculpted out beautifully as well. They have a little bit of a different tone, it's like a black and a grayish color, so it looks very cool the way they've done that. I feel like the arms are held in in a way that makes him look very bird-like, which is very cool because obviously with feathers he is related distinctly to birds, so that gives it also a very realistic look. You can see just looking around at these feathers, they are sculpted so, so nicely all over the place. It almost appears to be like, a, uh, like an emu type feather all over the upper part of the body with really distinctive feathers down here on the legs and the arms, almost giving it an appearance like it has wings, so it looks very, very nice. The feathers are beautiful all over the place, and they are colored so beautifully. So many different tones have just gone in to the feathers alone, and it just gives it such a realistic look. You can see the feet are also sculpted beautifully. Tons of scale work put into them. The claws also look very, very nice. Those nice, huge sickle claws with some more nice tonage to them, and some beautiful, beautiful, sharp claws all over the place. It looks fantastic. He's walking here on this little rocky area, so I would have... I kind of get the feeling that maybe he's like on a mountain ledge or somewhere like that, just up on the rocks. Maybe he's just searching for some prey. That looks very cool. And then the nice big tail, it's up in an upward position, but it looks very neat. It just makes him very tall because of how high the tail goes up. Again, the same thing on both sides. 
It looks fantastic from either way. You can't really see too much as, the, as far as muscle tone goes, but it's definitely there. Because of the feathers being all over in the place, you can't get an idea of just how much muscle is in the legs and the arms, but you can definitely see it specifically right here in the calf. You can definitely make out some decent muscle tone. So overall, this thing looks fantastic. It also comes again on this base. It is connected to the base. I don't know for sure if it originally was or if the seller that I purchased it from glued it to the base. I don't know, but either way, it, I think it's good connected to the base. And it comes with this nice Deinonychus nameplate that does say 1 10th scale on the front. So overall, everything about this looks very, very nice. As far as the size of the Deinonychus goes, you're looking at about 10 inches if you go at an angle from head to the end of the tail. And if you're going to go from the ground up, his tail is almost, uh, it's about nine and a half, a little over nine and a half inches long. So he's pretty tall because of the tail sticking straight up in the air. But overall, it's not a gigantic model. It's not something that's Dinosaurus Sideshow size, but it's definitely a good size. And it's a very, very nice looking model with a, a very beautiful and striking appearance. So overall, I really think that Dinostorius has done an absolutely fantastic job on this. So much work has gone just into the sculpt, and it has just so much majestic beauty to it that I really, truly love this model. I think Dinostorius does a fantastic job on almost everything they do, but this has definitely got to be one of their top models, just specifically because of how beautiful it looks and just how much work has gone into those feathers. So I will link you guys in the description as to where you can purchase this guy on Dinostorius' website. I believe he's probably in the 60 or $70 range, somewhere around that area, and I think their shipping is usually 4 to $5, so it's not super terrible. It's definitely a good price, especially in the shipping area, but for a quality model like this, with so much sculpt work on into it and such a beautiful paint job, it truly is a good, good price for this. It's made of a resin, so you just have to be a little careful. Don't bang it around too much if you do purchase one, because you could end up breaking off many pieces, which I'm sure is exactly what happened with the teeth here on mine, and then the little nicks of paint on the face, which aggravate me. But, oh well, I guess. Not much I could do about it. Either way, though, like I said, I'll link you guys in the description of where you can get one of these yourself. They are absolutely beautiful. I cannot recommend them enough. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.